All right, how's it going? Welcome to part two of my masking video. So in the last one, I did the text masking where an object moves and it reveals text or the text moves and it comes from behind an object. And today I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to mask people, how to sort of duplicate yourself within the same scene. So without further ado, let's jump into the MacBook Pro. So here I have two different clips. This is actually the same clip that I've just cut into two different clips. And so in the same, in, in this first clip here, I'm sort of posing for a picture being taken by nobody. And then I'm doing it again, I think. Strange, I will cut that clip anyway. And in this uh, second clip, I'm actually taking the photo. So let's have a look at this first clip here. I need to cut it down. So I think I'll, I'm kind of getting ready here. So I'll cut it there, press Command B. So the first clip, I um, have my picture taken, I'm posing and stuff like that. And then in the second clip, I'm taking the photo. So now we need to, to combine these clips into one. So let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this first clip, drag it over the top of the second one. So now, because this clip is covering the second clip, we now can't see the second clip because it's stacked on top of each other. So what we do is we, we reveal what's underneath with a mask. And of course the mask will only show what's underneath in the areas defined by us. This is what makes it useful. So if we come over to the effects panel and we go to masks, draw mask, we drag a draw mask on here and the Mac's like, or Final Cut Pro's like, where do you want a mask? So I know in this clip I'm about here, but if you're not sure, you can just press the V key to turn the turn a clip off. And just quickly before I continue, obviously it's important to, to keep your phone on a tripod, keep it still for both of the shots. This is a particularly perfect situation for masking. There's no wind in the forest, there's no leaves to blow actually. Um, and the light in the lighting, sorry, doesn't change. I've had situations where the lighting has changed um, between clips, and it just be get it just gets too hard. One minute you're in shadow, or the background's in shadow. The next minute it's in bright sunshine, so your mask gets very difficult there. Uh, but this is um, this is the best case scenario because I can literally just draw a mask, put my control points like halfway, just straight through the middle of the clip. And it's as simple as that. There's no need for any sort of feather. If I zoom in, you can see the line is pretty much non-existent between clip one and clip two. Uh, but if it was, if you could see like a definitive line where clip one and clip two are, then you can come to feather, which is over here, and just make a feather. But here it doesn't do anything because there's nothing to, to feather. The clips are identical. So I'll zoom out and now the, the key thing is to match up the performances. So let's see what happens. I'm getting ready. So this guy, yeah, it's uh, it kind of works out well. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready. I instruct myself to turn around. So I turn around and then I, no, go the other way. Okay. Then I have my picture taken. And that's that's pretty much it. That's It's very simple, very easy. And just like with the text one, it's mainly in, in the setup. It's like, I'd say 85, 90% setup. Just giving yourself, the key thing is to just give yourself as, least, as less to do as possible in, in Final Cut Pro and it will work out for you. Of course, you can get more advanced, like I say, if the lighting changes, you can get into feathering. Um, if you're handing yourself stuff, um, in my Halide Mark II review, I, I hand myself uh, something, a bag um, or a phone, but that's a little bit more advanced if you want me to show you how to do that sort of masking where you're interacting more with yourself, then I will go into that as well. But I hope you have enjoyed this part two and I will see you in the next one. See you tomorrow.